All right, so welcome back here, everybody. And now you can see that we're inside of ZBrush, and we're gonna go ahead and begin our process of creating our small character, uh, small creature. And to do this, I'm just going to use the Z sphere method. So I'm just gonna go ahead here and drag this out. I'll hit T to um, go into edit mode here. I'm gonna hit Q, and I'm just gonna start drawing out some Z spheres. Okay, I'm going to use uh, hold down shift so that I uh, can snap a Z sphere of the same size to the original one. Go ahead and uh, move this one back here a little bit. And right now we're just going to go ahead and block out a base for our small creature. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and draw in some other shapes here. And I'm just going on uh, feel. I definitely encur encourage you guys to go ahead and uh, design your own small creature. You don't necessarily have to do the same small creature that I'm doing. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead here and draw out a little bit. And you can always hit A uh, on your keyboard to make sure that you get your adaptive skin uh, properly placed. And to make sure it's looking uh, like you want it to look. Okay, so at this point, I think we have the, uh, the right shape or the shape that I'm going to be happy with here. And I think I'm actually going to have to move this over a little bit. And I'm really just trying to get this um, all even and, and basically right in the middle. So let's go ahead and hit A and see what our adaptive skin looks like. So that's looking um, okay right now. Take a look at the wireframe. Uh, the wireframe here looks fine. Okay, so I think we can go ahead and uh, make our adaptive skin. So I'm just going to come over here and jump under my tool menu, which can also be found here at the top. And I'm going to click the adaptive skin, make adaptive skin, and you'll get a sub tool here. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump up two subdivision levels on this. I'm going to go ahead and delete the lower. Okay, I'm going to go ahead here and Z remesh this real quick. Now, um, this really shouldn't take a whole lot of time to Z remesh mesh this base since it isn't necessarily super high at the moment. Okay, let's take a look here at our polyframe. Our polyframe here, um, you can see, is quite dense. So I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting this in half. And this will take a little bit of time because it's trying to um, retopologize half of this um, actual geometry here. And there it's kicking through pretty pretty decently. Okay, so we'll go ahead and cut this in half again. You can see that there's uh, a little bit of problem here, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and fix that. And it's starting to get a little bit out of control. That's fine. We can go ahead and just Z remesh one more time. I just want to Z remesh low enough so that whenever I uh, turn Dynamesh on here, um, it's not really going to give me much of a concern. Okay. So there we have the Z remesh, um, which at least is low enough for me. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the project off on the Dynamesh. I'm going to go ahead and Dynamesh this real quick. 
make sure that I turn my um, symmetry on here and I'm just gonna go ahead and smooth out a little bit okay and to smooth I'm just holding down the shift button um, and going over the model take my move topology brush here just try to form the shape just a little bit more um, right now I'm not really concerned with the the actual shape here I'm just uh, mainly concerned with trying to get this to be um, smooth enough enough so whenever I retopologize this with the Z remesh or it's going to give me a nice even uh, geometric flow Okay, so we'll go ahead and turn DynaMesh off, jump back into our Z remesher, go ahead and Z remesh this real quick. And now you can see where um, this is a much more even geometric flow. So we're just going to go ahead here and cut this in half. And we're going to go ahead and cut it in half again. So we're at least low enough, and the geometry is straight through the model. So when it, because it's important here that what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to make sure that I save this. And I just need to go into my Z project folder real quick. Go ahead and save this. And I am going to go Z this over to Maya real quick. Let me go ahead and move that and you're gonna see where my is gonna come in here pretty large it just takes a second or two to go ahead and open okay. and you can see that the uh, geometry that Z uh, ZBrush has made for us is actually really small and I don't necessarily want um, the geometry inside of Maya to be that small because what's going to happen is it's going to be hard to rig that um, so what I want to do is just basically scale this up I'm going to move it up so that it's going to stay on the um, 0, 0, 0, X, Y, Z axes okay and I'm also going to delete half of this I can actually select faces there. Just making sure that I don't select anything I don't want. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab the border edge, the entire border edge. I'm going to get that, try and get it as even as I possibly can. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and re-mirror that back over. Vertices, I'm going to select the vertices, go ahead and merge them. And the way I can check to make sure that all those vertices have been mirrored properly and merged correctly is I can just add an edge loop. And with the edge loop going all the way around, I know that those vertices have been merged properly. Okay, so what I want to do is go ahead and select the mesh just making sure that I don't have any of those vertices selected I'll go ahead and select the mesh and I'll go Z this back over to ZBrush okay so there you can see where the mesh here gets updated and this looks um, sort of like a vacuum um, but that's okay uh, this is the base that I want and so I'm gonna go ahead and save this just make sure that I update that small creature one uh, I'll definitely give you guys all the project files for this. Okay, so in the next lesson, we're ready to go ahead and come back. And we'll begin shaping our creature. So, come on back.